hello, my name is Marc Antoine and I work at okay. Hudson Europe. Uh, today we are at MWC to present you our new smart, uh, Moverio Smart Eyewear product. So this is the BT300 that we have just announced. So this product, the principle is that it's going to project an image in front of your eyes that comes in transparency over the world around you. So this means that you can overlay digital content, 3D objects or whatever digital content uh, on your surroundings. So how it works is that uh, we are creating an image on each side of the glasses that we are reflecting to the user eyes via, uh, via a game of, of mirrors and this image is seen centered in your field of view. So in addition of announcing uh, this new generation of the Moverio, we are also uh, showcasing today our first product, introducing our Epson Sci OLED technology. So this is a big breakthrough because this technology is really uh, perfect for smart eyewear products. So it has many advantages. So first, it's a very high quality micro display. So this means the, 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 now the resolution of the device is 720p. So it's really a, a HD quality uh, display. And in addition of having a, a, a very high uh, contrast rate, so this means that blacks are really blacks. And it's very important because one of the key advantages of this product is to enable and unlock uh, augmented reality applications. So augmented reality means you're going to project digital content on your real world. And we achieve that so software developers can build applications that use that by putting black content to have it really looking transparent because when seen into the, the glasses, the black is going to become transparent. And this is how you can overlay digital content. And this is why the Sciolet technology and its eye contrast is really important because it allows to have a full optical see-through augmented reality experience. And this is a big breakthrough compared to anything you can see on the market. So after that, we have the controller here that is powering the device. So it's there mainly to host all the electronics. So this is where we have, for instance, the battery. And this is the main reason we have a separated controller. So to achieve a long battery life. So we have up to six hours. This is also where we can find the CPU, which is a big addition compared to our previous generation, because now we are using uh, one of the latest uh, Intel Atom uh, quad-core CPU. So really powerful and really allowing to uh, build application with heavy content and 3D rendering, for instance. Um, another key aspect is that it's all powered by Android, so the open source uh, operating system, and it's using a very standard version. So this means that anybody willing to develop application for the device and who has knowledge in Android development uh, will be able to get started right away because we are using the standard SDK, so developers don't have to relearn how to build application for the device. And they are really, really easily able to bring their application or develop new ones for the device. Then we have all the specification you can find, you can expect from the smart devices. So we have Wi-Fi, Bluetooth 4.0, so smart ready. Really important because uh, this enables again to connect to a wide array of devices. So from Bluetooth beacons to other smart devices, and again, build new experiences. Another key aspect is that we have motion sensors built into the controller, uh, in the controller and the headsets, and they enable to understand the movement of the device. So it's really important, again, for augmented reality, because then we can track the movement of the head of the user and display content based on this. So you can really build 360 degree experience and this is again really important for, for augmented reality. And last, uh, we can talk about yeah, the, the new design and improved weight and wearability. So now the device is extremely lightweight. So it's the lightest binocular see-through uh, smart glasses uh, with a OLED display you can find on the market. And they are really comfortable, so really lightweight, really. Really uh, a big breakthrough for this product category. So we have 16 gigabytes, and we can also uh, improve that thanks to the um, SD card slot that we have. So 
we can put SD card up to 32 gigabytes. So you can store plenty of content on it. The Mover UBT 300 will be available in October 2016 and for approximately around uh, 800 euros.